Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Time Certs. Time Certs is the wonderful twin to helicoils. Helicoils are a mess, time certs are perfect. So if you have a piece of metal that the threads have been damaged in or stripped out in, time certs are the way to go. If you're going to install time certs in something, what you want to do is find your thread pattern of your bolt that gets bolted in there. Because the inside of your time cert will have that bolt pattern. You can order your kit or you can just order the certs once you have it. But you do need the driver for it, the drill bit, and everything for different size time certs. So it's kind of a task. The kit is normally like a hundred bucks, and then your time certs are like ten bucks a piece. So in your time cert kit, you have the drill bit, you have the countersink, you have the thread cutter, and then you have the cert installer. Your drill bit is what you drill a hole out with. Then you countersink the uh, hole so that the top of the time cert is recessed into the metal you're driving this into. Then you thread the metal part that's going to have the time cert screwed into it. And then you drive the time cert in with that tool. And once it's all the way in, that will bust the end of the time cert and lock it into your metal part. As you can see, you could get different limb certs depending on the torque value of the part that you're assembling. You could use longer threads or shorter threads. In this video, we were repairing holes inside the head, the cylinder head of a vehicle. And somebody stripped out several of the bolts on these Volvo cam covers and we had to put time certs in because that's the best way to deal with that. Depending on the length of your time cert will depend on how deep you drill your hole. Now in this demonstration, we had some long time certs. So it was fine for us to drill the hole all the way down until a hole bottomed out. Now, in most cases, that drill bit will grab these threads and pull itself in really quick, pulling out the metal. And when it hits the bottom, it slows down or stops. And then you have to put extra pressure to get it past the bottom. Of course, you do not want to go deeper than the hole actually is. So a few of the holes we gauged and then some of them, the rest of them, we just drilled them all the way through until the drill bit stopped and we pulled it out so it wouldn't go any further into the head. As you'll see in the video, this is a lot cleaner method than the helicoils, and you do want to get you a time cert kit to uh, get yourself started and fix your damaged metal threaded holes. We put this head on, the car fires up and runs good, but it is leaking, mainly because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 12 of these holes in the top of the head are stripped we can't torque it down so it's leaking oil so we are going to pull the cam cover off after we pull the timing belt a couple things off the back and install some time certs and then put the cover back on hopefully that will cure this uh, cam cover leak situation we have the cover off and we are about to clean it up and then drill in for these time certs. You can see that hole there is totally gutted out from the uh, threads. We're going to drill the hole first. You want to go deep enough for your time cert so you can measure the time cert. Also, if you have some that are longer than others, what you could do is measure the hole with like a screwdriver or something so you can see how long your time cert can be. So that's how deep this hole is and that's how long our long time certs are. 
so we know we can put that size in there this drill bit is just a little bit deeper than our time cert but it's not as deep as our screw went down in there when we put the uh, screwdriver in the hole it almost went up to the shank so just be careful because these bits they grab really good and you don't want to uh, pull deeper in the head than you need to we have the whole drill to the depth we need we put a piece of chrome tape on the drill bit so we don't go deeper than we want we got the whole drill we got most of the shavings vacuumed up around there next you do the counter board the counter board makes sure that the head of the time cert sits level with the metal surface that you're dealing with that's the counter board bit just want to go in a little bit until you get to that first step right here that way the time cert will sit down into the head and not stick up out of the head the flare into the time cert so you set it down on the hole you start the drill and it will actually stop itself when it's at the right depth. And it stops. So now we have the bore. Next, we're going to tap the hole with the threader and you oil that while you work it down with the tool. This tool here is actually a tap wrench. It locks the tap bit into it. Now you just set it on the hole you just drilled and you oil it while you twist it down in there and that'll set the uh, threads for your time cert to go in. Now that you have the bit locked in the tool, you set it in your hole and you go ahead and you turn this down until you get the threads all the way down in the hole that you drill. You can use two hands or one, but it'll go down until it gets to the bottom of the hole and then it'll stop. Cutting that thread teeth in for the time circle. Now we got the threads all the way down there and we're ready to install the time cert. This is the tool that drives the time cert in. So you put some oil on that you screw the time cert on there and then you screw it down into the hole with your uh, same tool you use to cut the teeth in it. So I put some oil on the driver that drives the time cert in and it stopped right at the bottom. Now I'm going to screw the time cert into the threaded portion of the head and when it bottoms out you drive this a little bit further and it expands the bottom of the time cert to get it locked in the head and then you back this out. I got the time cert on the driver and the tool. So now I'm gonna screw this in until it stops and expands and then I'm gonna pull it out. So you can see it's going in relatively easy. And when the time cert hits that lip that we put on there, it'll stop. A little bit more, there it is. The time cert is stopping and the tool is going in a little bit further to lock in the time cert. So you just screw it till it stops and then you back it out. There it goes, it's stopping right there. Now you back the tool out and this should leave the time cert in. Now that is ready for the bolts for the cam cover. Good to go. Our first two time certs didn't sit down as deep as they should have and what we ended up doing was running the drill bit all the way down into the hole until it stopped. When the hole bottomed out the drill bit quit cutting and uh, so just don't put any pressure on it and you'll go the length of the hole with the drill bit after we did that the other time certs sit down in the head really good they countersunk in and as you can see the first one didn't so we're gonna put a little uh, cut in the top of the cover 
so that it takes that little lip of that time cert that's sticking out. So to avoid that, just drill down in the hole until the drill bit stops. Putting this cam cover back on, we have the metal shavings all vacuumed out. Everything's cleaned up. We counter bore the top on a couple of these spots where our time certs didn't sit as level as they should have. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.